Hi guys, I just wanted to show you my Bixler 2 FPV setup. Um, I'm new at this, so this, this is the setup I have now. I've never flown this thing. I'm taking this video because there's a chance I might crash it the first time, and I want to document what I have here. Um, and just so you guys can see the setup that I made. Anyway, I have a Bixler 2 uh, foamy airplane. And I have a Chernogy 9X controller from Hobby King. And I also have a range link set up on the back here. This is a LRS transmitter. And my little jerry rig thing on the back to hold it. So on the Bixler. I have the Hobby King Mini OSD with uh, GPS antenna. And I've got that all hooked up, seems to be working okay. And I have a 600 TVL Sony camera from securitycamera2000.com. And I was going to put it in a case, but I ended up shrink wrapping it instead. The case is metal and it, it weighed quite a bit. So I put some balsa wood on the back and shrink wrap the whole thing. Uh, hopefully it won't overheat. I don't know much about cameras and overheating, but hopefully it won't overheat flying in the air. And this, this camera actually, I have three different lenses for it. This is the lens that came with the camera. And I think it's got a field of view of maybe... 100 degrees or something like that. So I this is my own little setup for my pan and tilt. Um, you can see I have good range on the tilt and I have good range on the pan and I I built it myself instead of buying a pre-made one because I wanted to keep the Bixler as much to stock as possible and also I wanted the air to be able to streamline over it better to have less drag. Um, you can see my little passenger guy in there. Some of you might appreciate that. Back from my younger days. It's going to have some good rides hopefully. Um, so, so this pan and tilt basically you can see how it swings out from the center fulcrum and that's so I can swing around the canopy and look all the way down. You can see I can look all the way down that way. Um, I don't have the pan and tilt set up. Uh, I have a fat shark system and eventually when I can afford it I'm gonna I'm gonna be getting a, a head tracker for that and that'll be all set up. But for now I'm just gonna fix this in position with hot glue or something. So, <clears throat> the Bixler plane has flaps capability. As you can see, I don't have that hooked up. I don't have it broken or ready to go. I'm not going to use those yet. I'm kind of a newbie flyer, so I'm just going to I'm just going to fly with the ailerons. Maybe I'll set up the flaps later. So, going to my transmitter. Um, I have a 1.2 gigahertz uh, can't remember where I got it anyway it's a place in China and it seems to work really well I ground tested it and even with the stock whip antenna it went about six miles and that's as far as I could go without getting mountains in the way and I had perfect signal so I believe it's a 800 uh, milliwatt transmitter and I also, I, I put a heat sink on it. You can see under the tape there, the tape's holding it on. And there's also a heat sink underneath it to keep it from getting too hot. Uh, my video system is actually hooked to a switch on the side here, right here. And this is so I don't have to have my video system running uh, while I'm setting everything up. 
that way the the, tra the video transmitter is not sitting on the ground overheating and let me just show you how this works here flip it on see my transmitter turns on cameras on and I'll show you a little bit more about that later uh, so I have a a skew planer wheel antenna and this with the other antenna the receiver antenna side uh, I bought them in a set it cost me about twenty dollars and I think that was Fox Tech FPV and this here is the uh, speed controller underneath there I have I have a heat sink on that and that's to keep it from overheating and when I'm flying in the air that should do an excellent job of keeping it cool this is just the stock propeller stock motor I'm hoping it'll have enough power uh, I want it to be efficient as possible that's why I didn't put a bigger uh, 2200 kilovolt motor in like a lot of people have been doing because um, I want long flight times uh, the goal is to find currents and stuff in the air and to stay up as long as possible so the the range link receiver end is in the tail right here you can see I have some packing tape on there and this you know this tape basically has strands of fiber in it so it's really strong and I cut out a little section here and let me show you that real quick so there's my range link receiver everything is set up to good to go and the antenna hooks here comes down through the tail and pops out right here got it running under the tape popping up through the tail here and these these dipole antennas are supposed to be straight up and straight down so you, you want the center pole going straight up and then the back pole going straight down and it's kind of bent right now but you can as you can see but uh, before I fly what I do is uh, I'll I'll slip a little straw thing over it and tape it in and it'll be nice and straight I don't want to put it on now because it'll bend the straw so that's the airplane side of it um, let me show you a front view so you can see everything it's pretty much streamlined the original canopy canopy is still in place um, I think that'll work pretty well but I will soon find out as you can see everything is working So let me show you the ground station end of things. Um, this is a little box I keep all my components in when I am going to bring it to the field. And this is a skew planer, I'm, I'm sorry, a uh, helical antenna that I built using IB Crazy's instructions. Uh, thank you, IB Crazy. You have awesome instructions online. And I was able to build this and I ground tested it and it works excellent. So. That's that. You can see my little match transformer there. And the coax cable comes out the bottom. I hot glued it so it doesn't come loose. And so this picks up the signal from the airplane and the video signal. And it sends it through the coax cable to my receiver. And the receiver is powered by a battery and um, it's also plugged in with the fat shark goggles that I have here and this is the fat shark dominator and so I have a video splitter that goes one goes to the fat shark dominator the other one goes to my laptop computer and this is for recording video uh, live feed what I see through the goggles and it's also for anybody who wants to to watch and see what I'm doing uh, let me turn on the airplane here, the airplane camera. Okay. And you can see the video feed there. 
the video feed in the computer isn't as clean. Let me wave my hand in front of it here. Uh, the video feed in the computer isn't as clean as the video feed in the goggles. I don't know what's going on. There's, you can see it glitching there. Uh, the video in the goggles doesn't do that. It must have to do with one of these connections here. And let me show you the, the view in the goggles here. There's one side. There's the other side. You can see it's a lot cleaner video. There's no uh, no glitching like you see over here on the computer screen. But uh, I only notice this glitching when I'm real close, when everything's real close together on the ground here. So I think it has more to do with uh, the long range transmitter being close to the computer components. Uh, so this is a this is a XTV2 is what it's called, a little video capture device. And it goes into my computer and it comes with its own software and everything. And it actually comes with a remote control here too, which is kind of nice because I can just hit the record button and it'll start recording. So right now it's recording video. Um, I'm really happy with this little little XTV2 system. I actually bought it a, a few years ago for a submarine project that I was doing and it worked really well for that. Um, so that's basically my setup. Um, I invite your comments and any advice you guys have. Um, I'm planning on flying this for the first time today. It is a little bit windy outside, so that may not happen. Um, any first time FPV flight advice that you can give me would be much appreciated. And that's it. You guys have a good day.